Good morning everyone, it's Tracy from Australia with another project to share. This one is a little bit larger than normal. The book measures five and a half by eight and a half and the spine is three inches. So a little bit chunkier than I normally do. It's an old book which I've painted, covered with some lace and then collaged various lace pieces on the front, bit of an old doily um, and uh, put some buttons, a bit of um, ribbon and um, the gorgeous image which was supplied in the kit for the cover. So on the inside here I'll probably add a little bit of lace um, where the spine is and perhaps a pocket as well. So these papers are called Tea Soiree and they are by Calico Collage. So I've made uh, a pocket out of uh, an old hand crocheted doily with a few other little bits and pieces on it and popped in one of my favorite vintage postcards so I've uh, stamped out some tickets and then gathered a bit of fabric uh, and put that onto the um, clear page there. A little bit of stamping that's one of the large doilies that I like and I've decoupaged um, part of a napkin onto that. So in that little pocket that I've made from an off cut I've popped in a little booklet created with um, various off-cut scraps that were lying around. So another large lace pocket to accommodate this absolutely beautiful um, large card that comes in the kit. <clears throat> and that's onto some vintage music paper. So I haven't tea dyed the papers. I've um, added a little bit of gesso there so that you can write on it. I love this card. It's got different kinds of teas on it and um, <clears throat> that that lined page I printed out twice so I could make it into a pocket. I've had a lot of fun making this one. It took a little bit longer than I had planned. That's a commercial piece of paper that I've turned into a card. And um, this little uh, paper bag contains some tags that have information about black tea on them, different varieties. And as I said, I had um, a little bit of a distraction while I was making this because I got quite interested in tea and tea making. The little clip there I've added a charm to which is actually a little teapot. It's a little glass bead and then the cap and the top make it into a teapot. Really cute. So there are three of those in the journal. <clears throat> so this is um, a little piece that I fussy cut and then turned it into a booklet. and. <clears throat> again decoupaged onto that large napkin. So here's a glycine bag that I've um, used as both a pocket and a tuck spot. Look, some scraps from the kit and um, other bits and pieces I've sewed together. They pop in there behind that large, beautiful large um, card. Then there's a little booklet behind. I think I might round off the corners on that. And uh, I sacrificed a page from a little um, book that I actually own that I've only ever made one recipe out of and it's called afternoon tea so I thought what the heck and um, thought the information would be more useful in this journal so I used um, a page from the kit to make a very large tag so a little bit of stamping it's a graphic 45 stamp I really like it so this is a page in the kit and I've cut it down and um, made a little piece of journaling paper and this is a little booklet that I made requirements for afternoon tea just in case you didn't know it includes things like cake forks and all sorts of little bits and pieces so you can write in there as well and that's a lace pocket with a bit of decoration so I printed out that page twice and put a paper doily behind it and then made another little booklet out of um, an off-cut piece from the page and that's some info about teapots which was really interesting because different teas are suited to different teapots believe it or not and it's important to see what they're made out of. I need to add something to those strings which I will do. So again um, some tags that contain information about black tea, English breakfast tea, Irish tea and I've put little bits of black ribbon to indicate that they are about black tea. Uh, I like how that little pocket came out with the, um, the cup down the bottom so that was a page that I just cut up to make pockets out of again another little booklet um, some scrap paper 
which just does happen to be tea dyed and then some information about how to make a cup of tea seems easy but if you take into account the different types of tea and how long they're to be made uh, uh, steeped for and the temperature of the water it gets a little more complicated that's how you get the best out of your tea so these little um, tea bag pockets are included in the kit there's two of them and they're really cute so the little pockets actually from a commercial um, Kaiser craft piece of paper and I've used um, a couple of sheets of that to make tags and pockets and things. <clears throat> Love this page. That's a little tag that I've made by... Um, and then behind it, that beautiful lady. And I've printed that out twice to make the pocket. So again, one of my vintage um, postcards. And then I've added one of the sayings that comes in the kit. T is the answer to most problems. And then there's another of those... Um, glass teapot charms so in here is some very useful information about different teas and how long to infuse them for and all sorts of information again a piece of um, music paper that I've just set on to make it more of a writing space a um, bit of a napkin decoupage there and some more little tags about tea. And this is a cutie too. I um, made a little pocket at it by cutting that um, page down. Of course I'd printed it out twice and um, yeah making the tuck look like it's actually going into the little pocket. So these are um, tags about green tea and um, I've put a different coloured ribbon on there. This is a gorgeous postcard that's included in the kit and the pockets were made with um, that commercial Kaiser Cuff piece of paper and um, a scrap page that's upcycled. So this is the second signature. There are only two signatures but they're quite chunky. There's a, um, just over 100 pages all together back and front love these little pockets and um, here I've used a square doily to make a beautiful pocket it is quite delicate but it looks beautiful and that's the um, a little card in the kit that is um, an invite so I thought that would look really pretty in this little envelope or large envelope that I've made and that just pops in there so it is delicate but it looks beautiful So again, a little card that I've laid and this one's made from scrap pieces from the kit. And that top one is a card that comes in the kit and I've just added by layering. So that's a little piece that um, I was sent in um, a D-stash purchase as a thank you and I thought that would look really cute in the journal. So again, a little scrap and um, this pocket contains a couple of Tim Holtz tickets and um, the image is actually from one of uh, Norella's freebies. But I thought it went with this kit. So again, a little booklet that I've made, scrap paper and that just slips into a pocket, little hearts on the end. Again, tags, those ones are for red tea and um, a beautiful large tick, um, card behind it that comes with the kit. So I have inked up all of those things. A little bit of scrap paper, some tickets that are included in the kit. A little card from the kit the other side of um, 
the, the lined page which I cut down to make into added journaling space. This is a large um, tag that I've made. I've put um, some paper on the back and stamped on the bottom of that and it just pops into that little pocket that I've made by printing out the page twice. When your day seems topsy-turvy, tease the answer. So again, decoupaged um, a napkin image onto that music paper, made a little pocket on the um, napkin and popped some little pieces of paper in there to journal on. This little ticket comes in the kit and then this one is made out of a commercial piece of paper. So I've layered that, sewed around it. I've done quite a lot of sewing on tickets and things and I have left all the threads on. Again, a lace pocket with another extra bit of lace and a tag that I made using some off cuts from the kit and a piece of old music paper. Just a couple of the little tickets that come with the kit and then I've fussy cut that cup from a page to use. And again, another little booklet. The image on the front is from the same freebie page as um, the earlier image that I mentioned. I just thought that went with the um, the kit. And then this is the last of the little um, tea bag envelopes and it pops in behind that little cup. Then commercial and that one's one from the kit. Okay, so that's my tea soiree junk journal. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I certainly enjoyed making it. I'd love it if you'd leave a comment in the comment box below and tell me what you think. Thank you.